Hey, hello everyone. My name is Ravindra, and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how to connect data words table to the Power BI. So let's go to the Power Apps. Okay, this is my account table. We want to connect this Power BI uh, data words table to the Power BI report. So we have the two methods to connect this okay so i will showcase you the both one okay so simply go to the get data click on the more option then go to the power platform service then select the power bi data service legacy connection okay or you can select the data was action as well okay so let's go and select the common data service and click on the connect option uh, here it is asking server URL. Okay, so let's I go to the Power Apps, go to the tools and use here API link to the table data. Okay, and we need this URL. Okay, environment URL we need it. Okay, so you can take it from here as well as from the both links will be endpoint is same okay so you can take it from here as well okay so let i take it from here uh, last top you can be removed okay that is not needed top 10 means it give you use the top 10 records so let's say go to the power bi using the link and click on the okay option here it is asking for the sign in so let's use the sign in option Click on the connect. Okay, it is asking sign in. I successfully sign in. Let's I go to the Power BI report and click on the connect simply. So it is connecting and loading the data from the server as well. Okay, so you can be see I am on the specific environment. Just select the entity expand the entity table here okay and here you can be see the table okay uh, if you want to connect the account so i select the account you can load or you can click on the transform data so let's i click on transform data to see what data is coming so you can be see friends in the transform data all values are coming if you want some column to remove you can remove the columns okay if you want to add you can add the new columns as well so let's i click save close and apply so it is syncing my changes in the power bi report so let's wait for a couple of seconds Friends, you can see account table is successfully loaded in our application. Let's use the second method, okay, to connect the Power BI report. Let's in this case use the data or section and click on the connect here, okay. So it is asking for sign in. Let's click on the sign in first and sign in successfully to our environment, okay. So in this case, uh, the Power BI not known the environment, so it will display all the environment that is you have the access okay so i am the having all the access okay so but i need to connect from the my default environment so i expanding that default environment here okay and selecting the specific table that i need so in this case i need the contact table so i simply searching the contact and just loading that simply click on the load and it is asking for the query mode okay so there are two types of queries available import and direct query mode so if you use the import so data will load in your power bi and if you use the direct query mode so the data is connected to your data verse okay live connection will be made here so 
we are creating the direct query mode so we are creating the connection here to our power bi report so if any changes are there we can be directly redisplaying in our power bi report so friends you can be see our contact table is also loaded successfully uh, that's all if you have any question any doubt you can ask me in the comment box thank you friends have a nice day keep learning keep growing